Once the aortic root and annulus have been completely debrided of all calcific deposits, the annulus is sized for the appropriate avalus valve using only avalus sizers. Medtronic recommends that both the barrel and the replica end of the sizer be used when selecting the appropriate valve size. It is important when sizing the avalus valve that the valve not be oversized. When sizing the avalus valve, I find the replica sizer to be the most accurate predictor to measure and appropriately select the valve size corresponding to the patient's aortic annulus and root. This is a 21 millimeter avalus sizer. The barrel sizer and the replica model both go through the aortic annulus easily. This is a 23 millimeter avalus sizer. The barrel sizer easily goes through the aortic annulus. An appropriately sized avalus valve for any particular aortic annulus aortic root should fit firmly into the root and have minimal to no sinus tissue protruding into the left ventricular outflow tract lumen. The 23 millimeter replica sizer fits well. Notably, there is minimal tissue visible underneath the sizer once it is seated in place, indicating this most likely would be an excellent fit and the appropriate size. When the replica sizer is in place, it is important to gauge the amount of annular tissue that is visible when looking down through the sizer. Too much tissue can indicate that the selected valve is oversized, even though it may fit into the aortic root. Minimal tissue is a good indicator that the replica is the appropriate size for the patient's anatomy. This is a 25 millimeter avalus sizer. The barrel end goes through the aortic annulus with a moderate degree of resistance. However, the replica sizer barely fits into the aortic root, and when it does, there is significant overlap of sinus tissue underneath the replica sizer, indicating that this would be too large a prosthesis for this aortic annulus. The replica end should always be used when selecting the valve size.